All right, guys, here we have a 2003 Yamaha G22, 48 volt. And as you can see, six batteries. Batteries are in good shape. This cart was pulled from winter storage and it does not move. So I take our key, as soon as I get my keys untangled there, put the key in, turn it on, put it in, oh it is in, nope, it's in tow, put it in run. As soon as you step on the pedal, it doesn't do anything. Yeah, nothing. Uh, battery pack is good. I was able to get the charger to come on and it charged up as it normally does So I'm thinking we either have a bad stop switch in the floor Behind the pedal or we have a bad solenoid So first thing we're going to check is a solenoid because that's the most likely culprit. So let's get to that All right, so we need to gain access to here That was fairly simple these must be must be squished or something Yeah, it's not even, not even in one piece. We grab it, pull it off, it'll unsnap. Our solenoid is right there. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just test our switch here. Turn a card on to run. And I'm showing 49. 49 and a half volts. All right, so what I'm doing, so I don't have to arc out the solenoid, is I'm just gonna take off our connector here. Since I'm seeing voltage here, that tells me that we have a bad solenoid. So we'll start with this. Unplug our connector. Cart is in tow. You don't want to do this and run. The new solenoid comes with its own nuts, so you don't need to use the old ones. Okay, so there's a solenoid with the new connector. Now this will probably energize. Maybe not. Yeah, there it goes. Okay. So yeah, the solenoid's bad. Sure, we can definitely... We don't even have to test anything. Now, before we go and disconnect that solenoid, we're gonna disconnect the positive battery terminal. Even though it's in tow mode, it's just good practice to disconnect it anyway. Why take the risk? I don't really like leaving that hang like that, so we're gonna unplug it. No, I'm not wearing gloves. I know, it's rare to see me not wearing gloves. Oh, I hit my head on the camera. Yeah, that's our system power. Disconnect the controller. Now all we have to do is get the solenoid out of the cart. These have captive nuts, so you don't have to use a wrench. And you don't even need to, well, maybe you do. Yeah, you can take them all the way out. Take at least one all the way out, so that way you can get the solenoid out.
This is a White Rogers. Now what we'll do is we'll slide this one in and I'll start the nut. Oh, and drop it on the floor. That's always fun too. And then we'll get it pretty squared up here. Or at least as centered as I can. Makes it look nicer. Not that anybody could ever see back here, but... Just knowing that I put it in nicely and makes it look good is enough for me. If you don't have a back seat on your cart, this isn't as hard. You don't have to like squeeze between the seats and try to get in there. Okay, so now we'll put on our positive battery and our system power. A lock nut. I'm sorry, a lock washer. And then a nut. Just get it started. And then we'll take our controller. Controller feed wire, power wire, a lock washer, and a new nut. Get them touching by hand here. Remember the battery's still disconnected. Take our half inch or 13 millimeter. There we go. Put this cap back over this connection here. Now we'll plug in our connector. And we'll, now we get to hook up our battery. Again, cart and tow mode before you do this. Don't forget to hook up your charger lead as well. So many people have forgotten to hook their charger leads up and then they don't know why their cart isn't charging. This is a good time to go through and make sure all of your battery cables are nice and tight. Since you're already under the seat, which is what I'm doing right now, making sure they're all tight. A couple that are a little bit loose here that I wasn't comfortable with. Okay, this battery, this cart's missing all the battery tie downs. All right, now we'll put it in run, key on. All right, cart's moving. I'm not gonna give it full throttle yet. I'm gonna put everything back together. Now we'll put the cover back on. You hear the controllers reading the motor sensor. The motor, it's sensing the motor is turning, so it's going into one of those modes where it tells it not to move if it's like runaway mode. Okay, before I put the seat on, I'll show you. I turn the key on, it's in run mode. There you go. That's a result. You can hear that controller buzzing away. I hate Yamaha controllers. They have such a delay to them when you step on the pedal. But uh, anyway, that's just a personal opinion. So, all right guys, this one's done. I'll plop the seat on, let the customer know what's going on. And we'll get this cart back to them. So thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. If you have any questions about this project, leave them down in the comment section below. Be sure to check out the links in the video's description to my Facebook page and links to products that I use every day to bring you these videos and run my business. Check out my Patreon page too if you like. So all right guys, thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. We'll see you in the next video.